time to talk Mulan, and by and large, the most important thing that we could really discuss in this. Am I wearing pants? may very well have been the movie that broke me and not because the movie of itself was a problem but the fact is that I was eagerly looking forward to watching this movie in a cinema and I didn't get my cinema experience why because COVID mother father and the main country the main country that should have a damn clue about they're politicizing the disease the, the sickness, the illness, COVID-19. So if you live in an area outside of the U.S., pray to the ancestors that maybe, you know, you either have access to Disney Plus or a good VPN so that you can rent it or, well, you know what else is the other option. Let's not go there, shall we? But I am very, very happy about Mulan. I'm going to give you a very quick summary of how I felt about it. I went into this because I live on social media and I, I'm, I'm pretty much into all these reviews and all that kind of stuff. I knew certain things going in. I knew it was not going to be a musical. It would be more of like an adventure slash epic. I, I was going to say historical epic, but let's go with just epic. Uh, I knew there would be no Mushu and to be honest with you, I'm perfectly fine and contented with that. So for me, it didn't really bother me. What kind of really did, though, was the knowledge that they weren't going to do any real songs. Like, I mean, who doesn't get, like, goosebumps and feelings when they start playing Make a Man Out of You? Come on. Now, what's really cool is that there are lines that are used throughout the movie that, you, if you know the, the, the original, the animated film, you'll look at it and you'll be like, I know that line, I know that line, and you'll get all hyper and all that kind of good stuff. So, for the uninitiated, Mulan basically takes her father's sword and his uniform and goes off to fight in the war. There are some things that have been dramatically changed. So, for example, in the animated version, um, Bori Khan has a falcon. Uh, a bird, a falcon, a bird, and that bird is just a bird. But here we realize that the bird is just uh, the animal form for Gumby's character, which is basically like the sorceress. You know, you, we we grew up on He-Man. I watched Mulan uh, last night and last night into this morning, and I I felt really good. It it felt like what the summer blockbusters tends to feel like you know in normal times that's what this was this was like this huge glorious epic that at times felt like it was speeding along a little too fast for my liking i would have loved to stay with some of the characters a little bit more but it was really joy to watch and it, it made me feel good it made me feel really happy watching these characters i'm not gonna lie i sat down and watched Don Yen come up on screen, uh, his first Don Yen's intro into the whole thing. I was like, yes, I am! And I'm going to say this, this may very well be the most controversial thing you will hear me say throughout this entire thing. Well, one of. Mulan turned out to be a better Rise of Skywalker than Rise of Skywalker. And I'm one of those people who... I saw Rise of Skywalker a couple times, and the first time I was like, this is cool, but meh. And the second time I was like, okay, I, I can understand it a little bit more. This, okay, I get where they're going with it. But how Mulan 2020 was dealt with is sort of kind of what I would have wanted from uh, Rise of Skywalker. There's Chi. Chi is around everyone. Everything has Chi. So, ah, you see where I'm going with this. 
Um, and she has great chi. Even as a child, she has the ability to to do things and can move. And it's like, you know, she really knows how to connect. But she's a girl and she's often associated with warriors. You're just a girl who's supposed to get ready to be married at some point in time in your life. You know, there are things that she does during the course of the movie, like, uh, you know, something happens with Chen Hong and she does something that Ray did with, with, with Kylo. And I was like, yeah, this, this is, this is kind of Star Wars. This is kind of Star Wars. There's a conversation that Mulan has with the sorceress, with, uh, with Lang. And you kind of be like, okay, if the whole Luke Darth Vader parallel is happening here. It's very much like you're at the beginning of your powers and you don't know how important you are. Come join me and together we will rule the galaxy. That kind of vibe. Uh, which, you know, you could say is the Disney machinery if you want to be cynical about it or whatever it is like that. I just really thought this is a very cool Rise of Skywalker. You know, and the, the fact that the spirits are, and the ancestors are guiding her all kind of stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, you get a lot of feelings in this movie. You feel for every process. You actually get to, to see what it would be like. Because, like, remember, she's actually, she's a girl who is dressing up, or pretending to be a boy in order to do what her father can't, which is fight in the army. And I'm not gonna lie, there were some times, even though I grew up with the animated one, there were times watching this movie, I was like, oh my God, she's gonna get caught. Oh my God, they're gonna get on like asses. Oh my God, oh. And, I, I, and I felt the tension and I liked that. I, I really enjoyed that about it, it was good. There is something that happens towards the end. I mean like towards the end, end of the film that I was like, yeah. I mean, this is me at midnight the lights are off, I'm there with my machine, and I see this thing happening, and I'm like, ah! because I can't really, because I don't know, it's, it's midnight. Uh, but it was really good, it was really good. In fact, you know what it is? Mulan felt, this Mulan felt like a good passing of the torch from the animated film. And that's what I want. That's what I want, and that's what I wanted, and I'm glad that I got that. The idea of Mulan not being a word for word repeat so to speak is beautiful and I feel like they all gave justice to it. Miss Miss Yifei gave it real justice and I was really 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 happy with how it turned out. The idea of being true to yourself, the idea of being true to who you are in order to succeed it, it's so relevant to today, and it's not, not just even the obvious topics. I mean, let's be honest, we compromise so much of ourselves in order to fit in. We compromise so much of ourselves in order to get the job or to make the extra dollar or whatever it is like that, that at the end of the day, it's just, it's stupid. It's stupid, and we shouldn't do that. So being true to yourself, being loyal, true and brave first of all to yourself and then your family and the people that that count on you and you can count on that is so it's so poignant it's so real for today as it was when the animated film came out and i cannot tell you how much i enjoyed watching mulan i would have enjoyed it a lot more in a cinema but it is fine so that's it that's that's my quick ish um, quickish synopsis of Mulan 2020. I haven't gone too deep into it, um, and that's fine. It's been a while since I've actually done a review, a review of a review. I've been doing all sorts of other things. But basically, if you can get your hands on Mulan, watch it. Watch it again. Watch it with the whole family. It's great. Take care of yourself. Be well. And hopefully, it wouldn't take another... 15 years before I do another review.